Hello everyone. Today we will talk about different cephalometric landmarks. These are landmarks that are used in various analyses like Downs analysis, Steiner's analysis and which further help to determine various discrepancies. Now uh, the landmarks that we will discuss are on cranial base, landmarks on maxilla and mandible that we will discuss one by one further. So uh, now starting with the landmarks on cranial base, various landmarks that we will discuss are cella, cella entrance, nasion, pterygomaxillar, porion, articular, basion and orbital. So starting with cella. Now uh, cella is a constructed point in the medial plane and it is defined as the center of the cella tersica. This is the cella tersica. At the center of the cella tersica, this is the cella point. It is a constructed point in middle of the cella tersica. Now what is cella entrance? Now cella entrance is the point. This is the cell, cella, the entrance of the cella. Now at this midpoint is the cella entrance point. Now uh, cella and cella entrance are two different points. Uh, the next point is nasion. Nasion is defined as the most anterior point on the frontonasal suture in the mid sagittal plane. Nasion is the most anterior point on the frontonasal suture. This is the frontonasal suture. This is the most anterior point which is nasion in the mid sagittal plane. Next uh, is pterygomaxillar. Now pterygomaxillar is the point located at the intersection of the nasal line. This is the nasal line from ANS to PNS. So it is a point located at the intersection of the na uh, nasal line and the pterygomaxillary fissure. This is the uh, pterygomaxillary fissure is the vertical fissure and at the intersection of nasal line and pterygomaxillary fissure, this point is the pterygomaxillar. Now next uh, point is porion. Porion is an anthropological landmark identifiable on the skull on the superior border of the external auditory matus. Now, uh, this is the external auditory matus on the self and the most superior point is the porion point. Now, there are two uh, porion points. One is anatomical porion and one is machine porion. A machine porion is the superior point on the image of the cephalostat ear rod. It is a point of the ear rod that is put into the patient's ear when taking a cephalogram. While anatomical porion is the most superior point on the roof of the external auditory meters. It is the actual external auditory meters on the ceph and the most superior point is the uh, anatomical porion. Next is articular. Articular is defined as the point of the intersection of the images of the posterior border of the ramus. This is the posterior border of the ramus and the intersection of the inferior border of the basilar part of occipital bone. So this is the inferior border of the uh, basilar part of occipital bone, the posterior part of the ramus. The intersection point is the articular point. Then is basion. The next point is Bayesian. Bayesian is defined as the most anterior point on the interior margin of foramen magnum where the mid sagittal point of the skull intersects with the plane of foramen magnum. Or uh, the, base, uh, the best way to identify Bayesian is at the start of the vertebrae. At the tip of the vertebrae we can locate the Bayesian point. Next is orbital. Orbital defined as the most inferior point of each orbital rim. So uh, when we trace on the ceph, there are two uh, orbital, the right one and the left one. So at the midpoint of these two orbital points of the right and left, we will get the average one. And the most inferior point on that orbital is the orbital point. So next we will discuss the landmarks on maxilla and maxillary dentition. The points on maxilla are ANS, PNS and subspinal that is point A. 
and on maxillary dentition at the top uh, the tip of the upper incisor apex of the upper incisor the labial surface of the upper incisor the cusp tip of the mesiobuccal cusp of the first molar and the apex of the mesiobuccal root of the first molar so starting with ans now ans is defined as the most interior point ans this is the ans point it is defined as the most interior point on, uh, on the interior nasal spine of the maxilla so this is the palatal plane formed by point ans and point pns ans is the most interior midpoint on the interior nasal spine while pns is defined as the sharp and well defined posterior extremity of the nasal crest of the this is the palatal plane the most posterior point on that line is the pns point now pns also will coincide with the uh, pterygo maxillary fissures inferior point and moreover uh, the pns point can also be located when all the other molars all the molars have erupted the distal point of that next is the point subspinal that is point a it is the craniometric point that is the deepest and the most posterior point on the midline on the alveolar process of the maxilla now this is the alveolar process of the maxilla the most deepest point and the most interior deepest point is the point a that is subspinal now points the dental landmarks on the maxillary dentition the first one is the tip of the upper incisor this point is the is defined as the incisal tip of the most prominent maxillary central incisor then the apex of the upper incisor is defined as the root apex of the most prominent uh, maxillary central incisor then the labial surface of upper incisor is defined as the most interior most point on the labial surface this is the labial surface of the incisor the most interior point on the labial surface of the most prominent maxillary central incisor then is the point of cusp tip of upper molar it is defined as the mesiobuccal cusp tip of the upper first molar now this is the first molar the mesiobuccal cusp tip will be the uh, cusp tip of upper molar point then is the root apex of upper molar point is defined as the apex of that mesiobuccal root of the maxillary first molar next we'll discuss the landmarks on mandible and the mandibular dentition now landmarks on mandible are condylion gonion menton nathion gonion and point b supra mental now to start with point condylion condylion is defined as the point located on the superior posterior contour of the mandible so this is the condyle the most superior and posterior point on the condyle of the mandible is the condylion point next is the point gonion now gonion is a constructed point it is the external angle of the mandible projected on the lateral cephalogram by bisecting the lines formed by the tangent of the ramus and the lower border of the mandible the point coinciding at the angle of the uh, mandible is the gonion point so gonion is a constructed point uh, next is menton menton is defined as the most inferior point on the mandibular symphysis next is nathion nathion is a, also a constructed point it is defined as the most interior inferior point symphysis so uh, how nathion is constructed um, but first let's talk about the point pogonion pogonion is the most interior point on the mandibular symphysis now we join the line of pogonion and menton and uh, the line uh, bisecting this perpendicular point will be the nathion point uh, next is the supramental point that is point b 
This is the most deepest point on the profile curvature from pogonion to the infradental. The deepest point on the mandibular uh, symphysis is the B point. Now, uh, the mandibular dentition point, same as the maxillary dentition, the tip of the lower incisor, the apex of the root of the lower incisor, the cusp tip of the mandibular first molar, mesiobuccal cusp, and the apex of the mesiobuccal root of the mandibular first molar. And uh, the point that we forgot is the labial most point of the mandibular incisor. These are the points on the mandibular dentition. Uh, now, these were various cephalometric landmarks that we use for various analysis in determining the discrepancy in anterior posterior direction on the literal cephalogram. So, I hope it was helpful. And if there is any question, you can ask into the comment section. Thank you.